Alright, so our objective today is to learn about plate tectonics, and your essential question is how does plate tectonics affect Earth's landforms? So, looking at these landforms, basically what you need to know is how the plates are moving, and what do they create, okay? Which in our lab today, we're going to go through and uh, simulate those for some of you, because some of you did what you were supposed to. So, very quickly, one of the ones we're going to look at is divergent. Divergent means that they divide. What I would do is maybe put a word right here that says divide. D-I, divide. D-I, D-I. Makes you remember that divergent means divide. If you look, these plates are moving away from each other. These plates are under water. That's why I told you to draw them very, very specific. So I want you to realize that this occurs usually underwater, okay? Specifically, right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Remember yesterday we saw the uh, the animation, the Pandy animation. Remember you saw that all that black stuff right in between North America and Europe. That is the Mid Atlantic Ridge. That's because those plates are moving away from each other. That's why you saw more and more black because new earth or new rock was being formed all the time, okay? Now, always remember that under all these plates you have what? Magma. magma. So this magma comes up, it hits that cold water, it cools off and makes water. Okay? Question? Yes, the Atlantic Ocean is not smaller, but Yes, because it's going to continue to Spread and spread and spread and spread. Yes? So you told us to draw a specific level of water because they happen in like the converge one happens in different areas? Yes. Okay. I was I was looking at like why she draw like that yeah. and I know they said that's hard. And that there if you time. look, the, there's three different convergent ones, right? That's yeah. why I wanted you to draw the water because it has something to do with what we're gonna be talking about. So looking at this one. When we look at convergent, <coughs> convergent comes together. They join. So under conversion, I would write maybe comes together or collides. Now, in this case, this is a convergent boundary where these two plates are both underwater. underwater. So this is called an oceanic oceanic convergent boundary because two oceanic plates, two plates that are under the ocean, collide. Now, when that occurs, one subducts under the other one. One goes under the other one. This subduction occurs because one sinks. Why do things sink? Because of the density. Very good. Density. So, if this one is sinking, it's more dense. This one's more dense. That's why I colored it darker. It's more dense of a color. It has more density. That's why it sinks. That's why this one's colored lighter. It's less dense of a color. That's why I put it up like that. There's a reason for my coloring. Okay, it's not just because I like to color. Which I do. <laughs> Alright. So right here, what's under all these? Magma. Magma. Now, as this is coming in, over there I'm making new rock, right? I'm constructing new rock. Here, if this rock is going into this hot magma, what's happening to this rock? <laughs> getting rid of it. So this is a destruction boundary. I'm destroying old rock because it comes in and it melts. Now, what ends up happening is there's pressure right here, right? The This melted rock is very different from this melted rock. And even though this is more dense than this, this is less dense than this. So what ends up happening is as this melted rock gets in here, there's pressure, it shoots it up and starts making a mound over here. Starts making a volcanic, a volcanic, uh, an underwater volcano, basically. So as this builds up and builds up and builds up, eventually this is going to come out of the water, right? So what's it going to make? Land. It's going to land. It's going to be land outside of the water, which is going to make an island. Okay. So do you see how that picture helps you see that that's going to make an island? Because eventually it's going to build up. Yes. <laughs> Like a volcano, is that why they, like Hawaii has all the volcanoes? Um, 
Hawaii is actually not made because of this. It's made because of something called a hot spot, which is an area in the ground that just has a hole, and it allows magma oh. to come up. Um, that's why it's a chain, because since the plate is moving, you start building up, and then it moves, build up, and moves. That's why it's a chain of islands, mm -hmm. uh, because it's a hot spot. But, yes, other islands are done this way, like the Aleutian Islands, which are the other islands on, uh, on the little tell of, of um, Alaska. Alaska. Okay? You, saw, you see that? It looks kind of like an arc. These island, those islands were made of them. <clears throat> so, moving on to my next convergent. So, still convergent. They're still moving together, right? They're still colliding. But now, I have one under the water and one not. So this is convergent, but it's a oceanic continental. So this is oceanic continental because one of the plates is under the ocean and one of the plates is under or is a continent. Okay? So once again, you have subduction. Oceanic plates are always more dense than continental plates. So all oceanic plates subduct. And you still have this magma here, which once again, this is being destructed, right? It's melting. Magma comes up, erupts, and you get, um, you get volcanoes and you get mountains. The Andes Mountains, which are the mountains on the coast of South America, are made because of this. Okay? <clears throat> Questions on that one? All right. Then we have a third convergent boundary. Once again, still come together, but now both of these are continents. So both of these are land. So both of these are land. You don't have magma being destructed. You have more like a weathering part where the rock is just being broken. And as it's broken, it builds up. So if I have these two plates that come together and none of them subducts, it's going to make a mountain. So these make... <clears throat> mountains, such as the uh, Himalayas. Remember yesterday we noticed that India was all the way down here at the bottom and it moved up and collided with Eurasia? That's how the Himalayas were created, because it was land hitting land. Okay? Uh, question? Oh, do you think that do all the plates convert and take as much time as other equal time? Yes, all, all the plates move at approximately, I mean, they don't all move exactly the same. But they all, all move approximately 1 to 10 centimeters a year. And then the last one is a transform boundary. Now this, if you look, this was important to make sure that you understand. This is an overhead view. All the other ones were a lateral view. Meaning, if I had this right here, all the other ones were, you were looking at this one. Okay. This one is, I'm looking at it this way, so from the top, okay? So this is a top view. So these are when the plates are sliding past each other. Now if you look, is that line straight? No. And that's important. It's jagged because it's rock, correct? It's not, it's not very smooth. So whenever these are moving, it's like you taking your hands and doing this. And I'm still pulling, and I'm still pulling. So if I'm doing that, am I going to start feeling some pressure? Pressure is building up. Potential energy. Potential energy is building up. Because more and more pressure is building up. That's potential energy. Eventually, the rock is going to break, correct? When the rock breaks, you get an earthquake. Okay? And the reason for it is because they want to slide. And since they're not very smooth, they're, going to, they're jagged. They keep pulling, they keep pulling, eventually it breaks, and they move where they were supposed to be at, and then they start again, start again. So those earthquakes are, are occurring because since this is not smooth, that jaggedness makes them snag, the potential energy builds up, the pressure builds up, eventually pressure's too much, and it breaks, causing an earthquake. Okay? So, any major questions over those? Alright, so we're going to do the lab.